Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 18G. The question says, open the file saved in task 18F. Two new fields are to be added to the student's data. Use these field names, data types and field descriptions. Okay, so we're going to use this. So our job now is to go to the table itself, not really the uh, form. Okay, so I'm going to open my database here. So I'll go to students from task uh, task 18D here. I want to go to student first of all. I want to add uh, the what's it called the year group and tutor and and their data type. So you want to go to design view here, and then you want to add a year group here year underscore group. Okay. So we are using this year group because uh, year is actually a What's it called a keyword right if you use year it's not gonna accept that because it's a keyword you can try that by yourself though all right um okay so uh year so it's gonna be let's say numeric let's make here group numeric um yeah because of course we're gonna it's better that way okay so i'm going to use this as the description so let me just copy that for convenience sake So I'm going to just paste it right here. And the next one will be, I think, tutor. And that will be short text. Tutor. And then I will leave that, I will leave that as a short text. And then of course copy this, the name of the uh, of the student's tutor. So let me just copy that. And then I'll paste it right here. Okay. So I think we are good here. So one thing you can do is, uh, by virtue of the tutor, we already know the code of the tutor. We already know that the, the tutor is probably it's it's always um, the tutor is actually um, represented by S code, right? Okay, so let me just okay, let me just go back. So if you find out the, the tutors here. They are all the science tutor, the English tutor. They are all, um, you know, represented by their, by their codes, right? So, so just three letters, right? So you, what, what you want to do is to reduce the field size of these tutors. So you want to go go to this place and then write three for the field um, field size, right? So I'm going to simply go back and then save my changes. Uh, the size of uh, one or more fields has been changed to a shorter size. If data is locked, da, 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 uh, we are good because we are, we know exactly that all the codes are just three, right? Okay, so we are good with that. Okay, so I can close this now. Now I can go to uh, the file that that was indicated, which is 18f. Okay, I go to 18f. I'll open that. Mm, let me just uh, save it as an object, save as, and then uh, save as an object. So let me save it as task 18G, okay? So let me just save that as task 18G. Let me just uh, remove this. Make sure I remove any space behind. And then I want it to still be a form, and then I'll close that. So now I've saved it with a new name. I think I'm good. Okay, so let me just close this. Let me open the file here, which is task uh, 18G. Let me just be sure that that's the one that is open. Okay. So any change I make here will not affect the rest. Okay. All right. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, what do I do next? Um, what I'm going to do here is, first of all, uh, for this description that I used here, so I'm going to remove this all this control button somehow. Um, yeah. Let me just remove them for this uh, um, question so I, I want to bring down the uh, the footer a little bit just move it down to make space for the details okay so the next thing I want to do let me just push down a little further okay um, let's see so for the year group I want to make it to have a radio button right so what you want to do is to click on this um, option group. You want to click there. So you want to drag across here. Okay. So here you want to name it the level you want, which is um, 
year group year seven um tab year eight tab year nine tab year ten tab year eleven so after year eleven you want to have a default um you know field right there or label right so i want to have no year group selected something like that so this will form like the default um you know uh, data in there okay so i can nest it mm, yes the default uh, choice is um, so let me make this default so whenever there's no um, year group so this will actually be what we show right there no year group selected okay so the next thing is of course access will give you give it values right what we want to store there is actually numeric values right but it has to be in the order of the level so you want to have seven as a value here you want to have eight as a value you want to have nine you want to have ten and then eleven and then 11 here okay so for the no year group you want to have zero because you don't want anything in there right so you can nest it save the value for later use no store the value in this field so we want to choose the field we want to store it in so we're interested in the year group so all the data will be stored in the year group and then we can nest it um i think i'm good here i don't have to change anything option button is what i need i don't need all these toggle button or check boxes so i will leave it at that and then i will go next so i want to give this um i want to give the caption um, let me say mm, tutor tutor will be appropriate and then i'll finish and then you'll have something like this now whenever you do something uh, i think is it would be nice to also um you know check Check to see how it looks in your uh, form view, right? So, and I think I like what I see here, tutor, right? So, what, I'm, what I want to do is to change this tutor, right? Uh, to something that will be more suggestive. So, I'm going to click inside this um, text box. So, I want to have which, I want to write here which year group. Uh, you in something like this so that will serve for that okay so let me just expand this a little further just to make it consistent okay so let's see how it looks okay fair enough it looks uh, okay so you can actually check check out or maybe click on the checkbox to or the radio button sorry to be able to select our options okay so I think uh, that is fine with us. That is fair enough. Uh, let me go back to sorry. Let me go back to design view here. Um, uh, let me actually let's say let me select everything here, and then move them up a notch, and then select everything here, and then oh sorry. Let me just select everything once more we written up a notch right so maybe okay let me just select again and then just move it to the right a bit just to okay let me just move it a little further something we like this okay so that'll be fine because i want to create a, a bit a bit of space down here so let me just check to be sure that the changes i made um is not too bad okay not really bad at all okay so the next thing I want to do is to add for the, what's it called, um, for the tutor, right? Let me see, tutor, okay. So you want to go to a text box here. So you want to click and you want to get down here to drag across. So let me, how many, okay, just three. Okay, so let me just uh, bring it down a little further. Okay, so from this here, I want to select the uh, unbound, right? You want to go to data here. Mm, I'm looking for control source. The control source will be tutor here. Okay. 
So let me just uh, resize it a little further and then I hope it works for me. So I can change this text box here to two tops because that's what is going to hold the data. Okay, so two top. Let me just um, uh, preview that and see how it looks. Um, I think that's cool. So we can actually um, select the tutor here. So I think that's what's about. Okay. So we're able to add a new field here. Mm, one of the things I would do here, since uh, English, all these ones, they are all um, keeping just about three uh uh character so i'll have to reduce this like this that will be fair and then from here let me just uh, select everything here i want to use alignment home and then make them uh, let me see right alignment just to make it consistent something like this mm, right work for this i won't do it i think um i will take it back to sorry let me just take it back to left alignment. I think left alignment, left alignment is okay. So the only thing I just have to do is to move them a little further to the uh, right, something like this. I think this is fair. Okay. So I think that's about it for this uh, question. Let me just move this guy a little further down. Um, let me just. Um, move you a little further down something like this um that's fair enough okay well let's see if this can go up a little notch okay this is okay so this can go up a little also yeah so i'm, I'm good with this let's see how it looks so everything looks uh, pretty good okay so this is uh what you can do with um this question uh, what else? So if, if we are missing anything, uh, leave a comment down below to help the rest, okay? So that is it for this question. And uh, the one last thing you do is to do what? Save your changes and then close your work. And then we can call it a, you know, a quit for this one. All right. So I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like the video and share the video. And also subscribe if this ha has been a help for you. All right. So I will see you in the next one.